I'm so excited to share this video with you. Uh, basically, I want to tell you what is on my mind today. I have daily inspiration and I love to share it. I think we can learn so much from each other as an artistic community. Um, so I'm just going to get right to it. I have done what I call um, a mind map and instead of doing a linear list of what's on my mind, which is sort of what comes naturally, what I've always done um, when I was younger, I was never taught how to map out my thoughts in a more circular fashion. Um, but I have done that this morning just to kind of guide this video and keep me on track. And uh, this is the book that inspired me to uh, put down my thoughts in um, what's called a mind map and it's a thinking tool and it's actually an incredible way of brainstorming. So I highly, highly recommend uh, this book. It's just amazing, um, but that's not what my video is about. I just wanted to give credit um, to Tony Buzan. There's so many uh, videos and um, uh, so much information out there about the benefits of mind mapping. And I really think, especially if you are somebody like myself that has all these thoughts and you really want to just get them down and you want to, um, I guess, sort of, I don't know, it's just a way of uh, brainstorming new ideas. And as an artist, it's absolutely incredible what just writing down in this format can do. Um, this is not the mind map that they would suggest in the book, but it's the same idea. In the book, they suggest color coding um, and sort of doing different uh, branches off of the main branch. Um, but I've done a mind map on art cards. And what sparked my interest in this was I am part of this beautiful uh, group called the Flower Painting Group um, through artist Carrie Schmidt. And uh, it's a monthly membership. And there's those of us from all over the world who paint together every month. And uh, Carrie runs this membership. And uh, recently, we decided to do a trade of artist, uh, artist trading cards. And there was a lovely member of the group, Tara, that had sort of initiated this. And um, I thought, what, what a cool thing to do. So just yesterday, I received this gorgeous card in the mail <laughs> from Ava Brock, a beautiful artist out of the US. And uh, these are the trading cards that she sent me, and they are absolutely beautiful. Um, so these are 2.5 by 3.5 inches. Um, it's basically the same size um, as a deck of cards. And so we decided in the group, and I think, um, you know, artist trading cards are sort of a new thing to me, but um, in our group, we um, sort of said, we're gonna only trade cards that are um, number one of our artist style that we feel has evolved. Number two, we chose a theme. The theme for our cards was Rise. Um, so Ava had written Rise on the back here. You didn't really have to make it obvious that it was the theme. Um, however, you just want to incorporate the word rise as you created the piece. We said no stickers, no um, no elements that were like more commercial. Um, so yeah, I could not believe these cards. I was blown away. I'm blown away by just the feel of them because she varnished her cards. Um, they're beautifully finished and they have so much texture. And I see she did some collage. Uh, mixed media elements and I just love them so what a treat to get these in the mail and um, thank you so much Ava. <laughs> I uh, feel like this kind of sparked my thinking um, and this particular video. So um, this uh, card swap um, is just so amazing for artists. Um, it's amazing for creatives and it made me sort of think back to when I was starting out as an artist and just trying to find my own style, basically playing, I took a deck of cards and uh, this one I just happened to find today and I had put, uh, this is origami paper. I was trying a new matte medium or a new glue stick and I basically put the card flat over the glue, cut around it and was left with this beautiful paper background. And then at the time, I really wasn't confident in my drawing skills or my painting skills. Um, so this particular card, I was just playing around with a new stamp that I got in the mail, this butterfly stamp. And um, seeing this now, I think, wow, that's so, so basic. Um, and at the time I thought, whoa, this is super cool. And uh, now I can kind of think, wow, like I'd love to go back to this and say like, right now I have my Stabilo crayons and I would love to add some turquoise <laughs> into this. Um, I had these beautiful water-soluble crayons and 
I just want to finish this. I want to varnish it. And, um, you know, what a cool way to take a deck of cards and turn it into art because um, they are the perfect size. I didn't appreciate that when I was making my cards recently. So I made this little uh, wooden um, template that's 2.5 by 3.5 inches. Um, Ava just nailed it. Everything about these cards is beautiful. Um, she had put her well, she wrote the Flower Painting Club um, because it was Carrie and Tara that sort of initiated this um, in the Monthly Painting Club, and she put the date um, and also the word rise. So, um, yeah, I love having this template on hand, but I think I'm actually going to maybe use a deck of cards or at least uh, do this exercise with uh, my son. Um, but it's not just for artists, artists, sorry. Um, this is for creatives, um, someone that may not call themselves an artist, but I love the idea of, you know, cutting up an old painting. And, you know, we all have, all of us that have been maybe doing art for a while probably have um, paper laying around, or at least I do because I love working on paper. And some paintings that I knew with um, maybe the medium I used or whatnot, I just would never go back to and paint over. So I cut them up in this uh, 2.5 by 3.5 size and I plan to kind of um, work on these as a project and do it just sort of for myself and to use up, use up some paintings that I just love the background and I can see some of my style poking through, but you know, maybe just wouldn't go back to otherwise. And, um, so I wanted to just show you this just to inspire you. This is a great exercise for kids, teenagers. Um, you know, I think of like patients um, going through mental health challenges at the hospital. I used to work um, as a registered nurse. So um, I just think of the benefits of doing these little cards. And with my mind map, it's really helped me sort of figure out um, some neat ideas. So I use this just sort of to guide my video. Um, I had bought a magnetic photo holder um, just at a local craft store, and uh, it was exactly 2.5 by 3.5 inches. And um, I love the idea, so I'm gonna put Ava's cards on my fridge um, for inspiration. And um, I love these, this idea as, you know, a, as a gift. Or um, what I do is say I've developed a new technique, and you know, if this was for example, like a finished work of art. Um, I would put it on the fridge, you know, maybe for the month I would look at it, you know, what do I love about it? What would I change? Um, it's sort of my practice as an artist in um, modifying how I paint in order to improve over the long run. So what a cool thing to be able to get up in the morning and, you know, go to the fridge and see um, something so inspiring, whether it's from somebody else or if you're trying to improve yourself. Um, I think that's really cool. So um, I love the idea of, um, what else did I have on here? Oh, I know I'm working on, um, oh, what I wanted to say first, again, this is helpful with my mind map. Um, I have these mind maps all over the house, by the way, and I do go back to them and I'm like, whoa, there's so many good ideas. How did I ever come up with that? But it's all about training your brain to get the thoughts down in a pattern that makes those connections um, that you otherwise wouldn't make if you were writing in a linear format. And again, if you color code this map, it's so much better. If you add images, it's even uh, uh, even more of an improved method of getting thoughts down, especially creative thoughts. Um, one of my other creative thoughts was, um, for instance, when I see this card, um, I am just looking for my paint pen here, but you know, you could put, this isn't a very good pen because it doesn't show up, but like say I would put paint small. You can't even really see that, but if you have this deck of cards with artist prompts, so, you know, paint a drip, paint with acrylic, um, you know, paint an insect, paint a theme, um, and you're flipping through the cards, you know, uh, whether yourself or with a friend, um, a young person, and you pick a card and say you pick the one that says paint small, um, it's a challenge. It's sort of what we call an artist prompt. So. Um, if you're kind of stuck in your work and you love mixed media, 
um, and you love trying different things, wouldn't it be cool to make a deck of cards with just a whole bunch of words, you know, um, paint, paint big, paint small, um, you know, words like say surprise or um, flower. And when you pick a card, having that challenge to uh, follow through with what, whatever it says. So that was another thing I had thought on here. I also thought, you know, I've been creating my own, well, I'm in the process of creating my own Oracle deck. So this is a slightly larger size uh, card base that I have cut out. I believe it's 3.5 by 5.5 inches. Um, so these are just old paintings again that I've cut up and I'm gonna make my own Oracle deck and uh, what better way to kind of get my thoughts together by starting small. Um, so essentially this is just another type of deck. Like, um, and I love the idea of using these for, you know, for gift tags, for instance. Um, if I sell a painting, doing just a little, a little original is a really cool way of just um, thanking the person that has purchased your art or advertising, marketing, you know, dropping these little cards in someone's mailbox. Um, and if it's your own style, that's really important. You just want these cards to really feel like it's, it's you, especially if you're sort of um, putting them out there uh, into the world as an artist, not just like someone playing around. I also wanted to um, say that over time, you know, if you collect these cards from other artists, how amazing would this be to have a book of, you know, artists trading cards from all over the world? Um, I actually have a book in front of me here, which is uh, one that I love. When I first started, I did a lot of art journaling, a world of artist journal pages. And so essentially you could do a world of artist trading cards and make your own book. I think that would be really, really cool. That's all for now. That was a lot of information, but um, I'm just so excited about creating my own Oracle deck. This was Kathy Nichols, um, one of my favorite artists um, out of Asheville, and this was her Oracle deck. So I'm currently taking her class. I'm also taking Elena Hennessy's class and just getting my thoughts together on how I can make a beautiful deck. Oh, and I also have these little paintings. These are from all over the world. Um, and aren't these beautiful? So again, if these were in the size of a trading card, um, you know, I just love these, but you know, I may not frame them all. <laughs> I'll definitely keep them and use them and love them. But um, if they were all the same size, what a cool way to organize um, a collection of trading cards. Okay, I hope you um, got something out of this and create your own artist trading cards or creative cards or just a deck of any kind of inspirational card for you.